Hey everybody, today we have a special guest. If he will be calm and sit here. Say hi, Rubble. Hi. Rubble is, hi baby, I love you too. Yes, but look here. Rubble is my eight month old French Bulldog. Um, he's the youngest of my pack of three dogs. And I do get a lot of questions on Rubble when we go out um, or from people that know that I have a French Bulldog. You know, how is it having one? Do I just love it? Obviously French Bulldogs are very trendy right now. A lot of people see with celebrities with them. So a lot of people are just naturally curious. Owning a French Bulldog is different from owning any other dog that you will have or have had. So if you want to hear more about Rubble and owning a French Bulldog to determine if that's for you, or if you just want to see his cute little face, then keep watching. I've had dogs since I was a little girl. I've always had dogs. I always will. I'll never, I can never imagine my life without having at least one dog. Right now I have three. So I'm at max capacity. I do have an American Pitbull Terrier and I also have a Senior Yorkie. Rubble is definitely the most unique dog that I've ever had. That's both good and bad. One thing though it, that's definitely different or more involved with having a French Bulldog is care. This is my first French Bulldog and Rubble does require a lot more care than my other dogs just in normal maintenance. These are just some of the things that I do for Rubble on a regular basis. You'll notice that, which makes is part of what makes them so adorable is, and he's falling asleep, sorry guys. These little folds that they have all over. So Rubble is not even particularly that wrinkly. It's very important that you take care of the skin inside those folds. Are you hiding, baby? Um, so that they don't develop bacteria and yeast and they stay nice and healthy and clean. So every day I take a baby wipe, um, you can take a wet rag, and I just pull his little folds apart and clean in there. And then maybe put some cornstarch or some powder if you have it to dry it out. Since he's a lighter color and he gets the tear stains, he does have a paste that I brought off Amazon. I think it's called Wrinkle Paste. And I put that on his tear stains every once in a while or when I can remember. It does help a lot. It does help the tear stains go away. It is white, so it's not really that nice to look at. He's a big boy. He's getting a little heavy. So I feed Rubble a high quality food. Um, I, what are you looking at? I won't really get into which one that is because there's so many different opinions on dog food. So whichever one you do end up going with for your dog, just make sure that you're reading the sizes on the bags. Every food has different calories and nutrition info. So the dosage that you're supposed to give them might be different. And so do make sure that regardless of the food that I'm feeding him, I'm taking a look at how much is it suggested. And also you can talk to your veterinarian to determine how much your dog needs to be eating if you're not sure. That helps him to stay at a healthy weight. I like to make sure that Rubble has fresh water at all times. He drinks a lot of water. So I actually ordered one of those instead of having a bowl out because he likes to play in his water and flip it over. Um, so instead of just leaving a bowl out and it can get kind of nasty with things going into it, I actually brought one of those, uh, water fountains for dogs off of Amazon. So he has a clean stream of water all day, every day, and he's able to have as much water as he wants. Also, because he has a flatter face, um, he's more prone to overheating because he's not able, yeah, I know, yeah. Yeah. He's more prone to overheating because he's not able to cool himself off as efficiently as other dogs with longer snouts. So I want to make sure that your French Bulldog has fresh water and a cool spot every day to relax in and just chill out. The ears. These bat ears are just... Right now he's kind of over it, so they're not as up as they usually are. But I mean, they're just so sinking cute. It's the first thing that everybody always says when they see him is these like satellite bat ears always up. And even though they are so cute, that is part of the difficulties of taking care of a French Bulldog. They're more prone to things just falling into them. So dirt, grass, bugs, you name it. I'm constantly taking stuff out of his ears because they're just like an open funnel. So you, uh, every day I make sure that obviously there's nothing um, pre in the ears present, but I also have an ear cleaner that was recommended to me by his veterinarian that I squeeze into his ears every whenever he needs it. And 
make sure that I'm cleaning it out with the cotton ball to get anything down in the canal that I might not see. Rubble is prone to skin allergies, so I do use a <clears throat> sensitive skin shampoo on him and give him baths. He does get really stinky. He can smell like a corn chip. Right now is about time for him to have a bath. So he gets a bath at least every two weeks with his special shampoo. And then um, even though they are low maintenance in terms to, of grooming, he does need to be combed on a regular basis because they shed a lot. They shed a surprising amount. He has to get brushed all the time. Right now, Rubble has a collar on him, which you can see is mainly just so that I can keep his rabies tag on it and his um id tag but usually i when i walk him or he's out he'll have a harness he likes to pull on his leash a lot and also because of their shorter snouts you def they can definitely have breathing problems so if you can put a harness on them it's better for them when you take them out on walks he has his harness for when we go out on walks. another thing that i wanted to mention is with french bulldogs which i'm not going to try and turn him around because he's very camera shy right now and i don't want to stress him out but french bulldogs have these little like corkscrew tails that go fl flush against their their buttholes he is the first dog that i've had to wipe his butt after he poops it on a normal basis and that is definitely something that i was not prepared for when i first got him that you have to actually go under that tail and clean it um if you don't it can get really nasty it can set them up for infection so it's definitely very important that you do that but it's like i'm wiping a dog's butt if that's something that you don't think that you can do you might want to reconsider even thinking about having a french bulldog because last thing you want is for them to get nasty little infections because you didn't clean out their little tail pocket right rubble yeah rubble was getting really antsy so i'm gonna let him chill for a little bit maybe bring him back when he's needed um, but those are just some of the ways that i do take care of rubble of course every day is something different constantly learning something new with him so this is not everything that you need to do for your french bulldog or any dog for that matter but those are just some of the things that stick out to me when i think of him versus my other dogs should you own a french bulldog we'll start with the bad things first so that we end on a positive note one of the biggest issues is they they are very prone to health issues more so than a lot of other dogs rubble is definitely prone to allergies um, i have to use a special shampoo with him i have to be careful with his food hip dysplasia is another thing that's common with them another thing is they are a um, brachycephalic breed because of their flat faces so when you think of other brachycephalic breeds um pugs boxers because of that it does set them up for a lot of different health issues issues breathing i know you've probably heard of a lot of instances in the media where um french bulldogs are dying on airplanes because they had a hard time breathing snoring you do need to be careful they can overheat they're not able to regulate their body temperature as much bringing rubble back just because i want to show you um rubble actually has which his vet is very happy about if you can see his little profile there show the people your pretty face Rubble has a longer snout than a lot of French Bulldogs and his veterinarian's really happy about that because it means that a lot of the breathing problems that they have, he might not be as susceptible to. Um, I know that a lot of people are into that really, really, really flat face. You know, it is cute, it's adorable, but keep in mind that the flatter the face, probably the more of a chance they're going to have issues with breathing or any of the other associated problems from having that that flat snout also they're prone to cherry eye and synodic nares it's like their nostrils are kind of like pinched like this and you can try it on yourself and see that it makes it harder for you to breathe it's a, it would be a quality of life issue for your dog as well so a lot of people opt to get that um, fixed if it is a problem with their dog which is very common with french bulldogs depending on your veterinarian that surgery can run from a few hundred to a few thousand dollars which if you're going to own a french bulldog i do highly suggest that you consider pet insurance even if it's just for accidents and not um, it doesn't include sicknesses or wellness or anything, even though I would also suggest that with the French Bulldog. If you're going to go the route of pet insurance, it's best, if you can, to get it when they're young and before they have any problems manifest because most pet insurance companies will not cover if a condition is considered pre-existing. You want to get it before any conditions come up. Um, or at the very least, if you're not going to get pet insurance, you should put some money aside every month for 
um, unexpected pet expenses. So I'm not talking about the things that you would expect if you're a dog owner anyway. And those should be things that you've already accounted into the cost of owning your dog. So I'm talking about routine vaccinations and vet exams, food, medication. You should have already counted that cost. I'm referring to things that are outside of that. So because of the health issues that French Bulldogs are prone to, that might be something that you want to consider of course that's more money so keep that in mind speaking of money french bulldogs typically are not a cheap breed not only to own but to to purchase as well so typically for a french bulldog they average in the price range of about fifteen hundred to four thousand dollars i'm in new jersey so that's typically what i see for french bulldogs i've also seeing them go as high as 10 15 to each their own if that's how much you want to spend on your french bulldog who am i to say that's too much regardless of how much you do spend on your french bulldog you do want to make sure that you are purchasing from a responsible and reputable breeder so you know not to say that you have to spend four thousand ten thousand however many thousand dollars to get a dog that is bred well even if you get a dog for free that doesn't mean that it's a it's a poorly bred dog rubble was definitely on the more discount end of that price range. I didn't get him to be a show dog or to breed. He's strictly for me to love on and be a pet. That's not to say that you are guaranteed to not have any health issues come up if you get a dog that's $15,000. It's not so much how much you spend on your dog, but where you get them from and doing your due diligence to minimize any kind of risk and make sure that you are vetting the breeder for wherever you do decide to go. Another huge con is they are so smelly. Their gas is out of control. I've smelled dog farts and not to say like they should smell like roses. I know farts stink. And people said this to me before I got a Frenchie and I'm like, how bad could it be? There is nothing like a Frenchie fart. And I don't know if it's because of their flat faces that they just makes them more gassy. Rubble will clear a room. Now I'm working from home more because of the pandemic and I'm just around it so much more. He'll be sitting under my chair and I won't even necessarily know that he's there, but I will smell him. Even besides the farts, he smells like a corn chip on a regular basis. Like he has to get baths all the time because he always smells like a corn chip. So they're definitely funky little things, but that comes with owning them. Another thing is they're so hard headed. I used to be one of those people because I've had dogs that people had these dogs that they just do, don't listen or they're like, my dog won't listen to me. And I'm like, you must not be doing something right. You know, dogs can be, dogs need to be trained until I got rubble. I have never had the issues that I've had training dogs as I've had with him. And the thing is, he knows he's, he'll be doing something wrong. I can come in the house and I don't even have to see, smell, know anything's going on. I can just tell by looking at him that he's done something because he gets so guilty. He starts tiptoeing away. He know it's like they know that they're doing something wrong, but they just have to do it. And he'll look me dead in the eyes when I tell him something and it's almost like you can see them deciding not to listen. I know a big part of it is training. So obviously we have to be consistent with them. We have to use reinforcement. I'm do taking all the steps, but it is different training him than any of the other dogs I've had, especially with potty training. I He's eight months old and he's just getting to the point where I can let him walk away from me and I'm not terrified that he's in a corner pooping or peeing somewhere. So it definitely does take patience, it takes consistency, and it takes time. So if you're not going to be able to commit that to them, that's something you wanna consider. Besides that, they also are very clingy. Rubble wants to be under you or on you all the time. If I didn't have this bright light on right now and the camera here, he would be trying to be on my lap right now or all up in my face. They're very clingy. If when we first got him, he would literally howl all night if he wasn't being held. So they are not dogs that you can just leave to their own devices or leave alone all day. Like I said, I have three dogs, so it does help that he has little playmates. I'm working from home more now. My husband works from home a lot, so he always has some somebody with him for the most part thankfully but he does he would not do well on his own so keep that in mind that you're gonna need to either 
be able to spend a lot of time with them yourself and be home preferably have alternating schedules or someone at home with them all the time or you're at the very minimum needs going to need to have a little play buddy for them because they need companionship the thing is that they do not do well in extreme weather on either end of the spectrum so whether it's too hot or too cold i live in new jersey so we can get hot summers and we can get brutal winter back to them being a flat face breed they'll have they can overheat very easily when it's hot outside so when we go out in the summer and we take a walk or something nobody's walking that much right now um but when we do start going out make sure that we take water with us I'll usually carry around one of those little portable fans with like a water bottle attached to it so you can spray them and cool them down at the same time. Once you start seeing them panting and having it, they're having an issue, you know that they might be overheating. So uh, make sure that if you're gonna take them out on walks or if you're gonna go somewhere that it's hot, you have a way to put them up. Maybe one of those little strollers that you can put dogs in. Um, at least make sure you're bringing water and a fan to cool them off when it's hot. Definitely, 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 please do not leave them outside. Regardless of the fact that they shouldn't be outside because they get stolen a lot, at least where I'm from. They can overheat so easily. And on the other end, when it's cold, their little bodies, they, again, they can't regulate their temperature at good, so they can get really cold. So when I take him out, even just to do his business in the winter time, I make sure that he has on his little coat and his, his protection from the elements. I kind of think of it, it was like, honestly, like babies. When babies are, are new, they have a hard time also regulating their body temperature. So you want to keep that in mind with them. They need that help. Don't set them up to overheat or get too cold. You don't want to have a tragedy on, on your hand because you didn't pay attention to that. So please, guys. Other thing is they are not hyper hypoallergenic. They do shed a lot. I don't know if you can see it on camera there. I have tons of white hairs all over me. Um, I'm actually allergic to dogs. So you can even see on me, I'm turning red and I'm getting hives. I'm allergic to dogs, but I suck it up for them. If you're allergic to dogs, you will have allergies with them. They shed a lot. Another thing is their noises. So I will get scared sometimes because I won't know that rubble is under me, uh, sitting under me or at the end of the bed or something. And I just hear like a grunt or some weird noise. They're constantly making these little like snarls and groans and grunts. It's part of, again, the charm of them having those cute little flat faces. Rubble snores louder than a human. It's not so cute at three o'clock in the morning when they're at the end of your bed and you're trying to sleep. Also, they are stronger than they look and they are heavier than than they look. Rubble is a lap dog. He loves to jump up on my lap and he loves to be held. He really does think that he's a baby sometimes, but you know, he's like 20, 25, 30 pounds. So it's not like holding my Yorkie where it's honestly feels like I'm holding a little, you know, bag of sugar. Rubble is heavy and he also likes to pull on the leash a lot. So keep that in mind they're smaller size dogs but they're very compact their bodies are very compact also because of that they should not be going into into a pool um if you're gonna let them in the water if you have a pool make sure they have a life jacket on them and you're monitoring them at all times because of their heavy bodies they will sink literally like a potato that they're very acrobatic so rubble tries to jump around a lot if you're going to have a french bulldog you need to make sure that your surroundings are kind of child fruit for them so that they're not breaking any any bones or hips or hurting themselves because they are very heavy bodied but also at the same time very athletic and they like to jump around a lot so you need to make sure that they are protected we talked about some of the bad things about owning a french bulldog but what about the amazing awesome perfect great things about them something that i was told before i got rubble and did not fully appreciate until i got him is they are so unique and that is not just saying it to say it they're probably going to be one of the most unique dog breeds that you own they're little clowns he's so full of life his personality he's constantly making us all laugh I have two children i have a three-year-old she thinks he's the funniest Thing that has ever existed there's no time that he's not entertaining us but they're honestly like little clowns i feel like sometimes he intentionally is trying to entertain us and just the way that he'll do certain head tilts his expressions great with kids they're great family dogs uh, we do teach our kids that they need to respect the dogs so we are very good with making sure that they're not pulling on the dogs or riding on them or disrespecting or the dog's face we have to treat the dogs with respect so our children are good with the dogs but um sometimes a three-year-old can get a little bit in his face and wants to play all the time 
my Yorkie lets you know, like right away, if he's not down for it, he's mm, no one messes with him. Rubble, I don't think that there's anything that that girl can do to annoy him. He is down to play with her whenever she wants. She always is rubbing on his cheeks and touching his little folds and he's just so even tempered with her. Everyone he meets, honestly, they're just very loving on, they're very good with and mild tempered. Um, so that is a plus, especially if you have a family. They're very social dogs and they enjoy people, they enjoy being around people and they know how to act with people. Because they're so cute, they're very, he's very popular. Wherever I take Rubble, I cannot go anywhere without him, without people stopping me and just wanting to love on him and play with him and ask me questions about him. He gets so much attention. They're also great apartment dogs. Doesn't need a lot of exercise. So, you know, his daily walk is fine. Let him out to use the bathroom. He gets enough exercise going up and down the steps here. Also because of their size, they're great for the apartment. They're not yappy or they don't bark and they don't bark a lot. So if you are in a in close confines, you don't really have to worry too much about complaints about the noise. So they're great for apartment living. So obviously there are there are lots of things to consider if you're going to get a French Bulldog. Rubble is definitely more high maintenance than any dog I've ever owned. He has his things about him that are definitely not pleasant and he can they can definitely be frustrating at times. But honestly, the love that these guys give you and just the joy that they bring to your life, I think far outweighs any of those cons, but it is a serious thing to consider. It's one thing to love on a dog and, you know, have a friend that has one and like the idea of having it. These are living creatures, so you want to make sure that you're giving them the love and attention that they deserve and they need. They do definitely need more uh, love and attention than some other dog breeds so you want to consider that if they are the right dog for you rubble definitely is not going anywhere in our family we love him very much and we hope that we get to have him around for a very long time so that we can just continue loving on him but thank you guys so much for watching my video and you have a great day